is impossible for him because that doesn't suit him. That's no, nature. the question is, can he enter into the creation? He can, mm -hmm. but it does not suit him mm -hmm. to come. So we are not saying he does not have the ability. Uh, very knowledgeable. No, no, neither, neither am I, neither am I, okay. neither am I. We'll, we'll have a okay. friendly conversation, okay. don't worry. Okay. Yeah. Cool. yeah. So um, we hear that like, um, obviously you guys don't believe that Jesus is God, yeah. right? Um, but he's a prophet and a messenger, right? Um, but why is it um, Quran is the only document in the world that is disputing other historical document beside the Bible that says Jesus died on the cross? Okay. So, I mean, when we look at Quran itself, okay. first of all, we need some ba basic background of Quran. Okay. Quran is a book, is uh, it has a name called Furqan. Are you familiar with that name? No, no. Okay. Furqan means something, the difference between right and wrong. So in order to know the wrong and the right, so in order to do something right, we must know what is wrong and we need to be avoided that, right? So Quran not only tells us what is the correct belief, Quran also challenge the wrong belief the other groups are holding. Okay. Right. So for example, Quran condemned idol worship. Okay. Quran condemned do not worship the desire. Quran condemned do not worship statue, stone, or human beings, right? So these are statement Quran throughout the Quran repetition of the because Allah keep reminding that I am the only one who is the maker of the universe and you should worship me and do not worship those things. So if you save yourself from not worshiping the things he mentioned, then you will truly worship Allah. Right. Okay. So what that so out of all the other documents that says that um, Jesus was crucified, you're saying that the Quran is the one that is saying the right thing? Basically. No, I, I think uh, historically we have other documents as well. Okay. You can call them heretics or whatever, you know. Okay. There is a group called Basilides. Okay. You can look it up when you go home, okay. yeah. yeah. Basilides, they also believe Jesus was not crucified, okay. right? Okay. And also, I mean, if you look at the Bible, the stories of the crucifixion, the event, right? Okay. So you will find the differences in the accounts, okay. meaning the story is not exactly unique. So what Quran actually said is very amazing, right? Let me find out the verse, right? Because you are a sincere person and we can, we're having a friendly discussion, it's important that you should know the Muslim point, correct? So. Let's go back to the verse itself. We have a lovely weather after a long time, isn't it? Weather is very good, isn't it? It's been a while, isn't it? Mashallah. Summer's almost here. Yeah. So. You know where it is in the Quran or do you know where it is in the Quran or no? You're familiar with this or um, no, no, not necessarily? No, 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 okay, no problem. Yeah. <coughs> okay. So the verse goes like that, Bismillah. Inna qatalna al-Masiha Isa ibn Maryam Rasulullah wa ma qataluhu wa ma salabuhu wa lakin shubbiya lahum wa inna al-ladhina akhtalafu fihi lafi shak shakim min ما له به من علم إلا الطبع الظن وما قتله يقينا. so and for boosting we killed the Messiah Jesus son of Mary the messenger of Allah but they neither killed nor crucify him. it was only made to appear so. so the popular belief amongst the Muslims is that a conspiracy was made to kill Jesus. Allah made a main culprit who betrayed Jesus look exactly like Jesus. so you will hear there's another theory called um, substitution theory go and home google it up you but carry on that verse yeah that, that verse okay yeah jesus was raised safe and sound to the heaven muslim also believe in the second coming of uh, uh, these are the additional point even those who argue for crucifixion okay. so that's the main point 
those who argue for crucifixion are in doubt so okay. the word yeah. zon zon means okay. assumption or doubt okay. meaning was so when we have called something called knowledge okay. and surety what is the opposite of surety conjecture assumption right so allah used the term called zon zon and wama qataluhu yaqinan he confirmed they killed him not so here he, he stressed the point that no they didn't kill him so whenever we look at the totality of the message allah is telling that the event now when we look at the gospel account differences that shows this word is confirmed the word zon if this is to the fact then the the all of the account would have matched together that shows the quran exactly pinpointing through this word zon zon here this is the most important word we don't reflect upon in this when we investigate the case okay 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 and then you can look it up basilides other groups and substitution theory where someone else so the theories are out there so the question is in order to trust a source we must know the validity of the source now if you take let's say you isolate this verse look at the quran in a whole picture if if you feel that this is from allah this is from allah then you cannot deny that verse Okay. Do, do you see my point? I see your point. I see. You see, sorry, brother. I'm, I'm okay, getting no. a phone call. No okay, problem. Distracted. Look, look. But let me just pick up and then let me just ask you one more question. Sure, sure. Okay, one second. Sorry, my brother. That's okay. Like I said, I don't have much knowledge. That's I'm gonna, okay. That's I'm okay. I'm gonna look it up what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much for, for giving me that. So I got, I got a question like that. That runs up to, to three questions, right? I got a question that runs up to Christ, three, three questions. So, um, can God's word be destroyed? No, God's word cannot be destroyed. God's word cannot be destroyed. No. Um, and when He gives that word to a prophet, can it be everlasting? and can it prolong until the end okay i got your question yeah i got your question so when i send you information okay to you okay so i have a copy of my information okay and you have it okay now if you cannot protect the information does it mean that information destroyed if i can't protect it yeah um it means that like i can't protect it correct but i have a copy okay right when god is saying god what cannot be destroyed yes. means right. when god communicated the message to yes. the prophet yes. and then the, after prophet the, the the people he designated they couldn't protect it that does not mean the information is lost because who is sending it god god is all aware so the scripture is with him so when we talk about bible when we are saying bible when god sent the the angel by the way we muslim believe injil is the revelation given to jesus christ the bible we say today is not exactly the injil but however however we believe there are a lot of truth in it and there are a lot of faults in it so it it get corrupted but it, it can't be though because do you know how how do you know how if 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 that's the case if if the injil is the word of allah yeah and the quran is also the word of allah we're not making it equal yes so that and would not mean that like someone can corrupt the quran i think well. maybe maybe you didn't hear my my okay. point what i try say it is yeah. when jesus received that book in jail yeah. Yeah, yeah jesus didn't receive this mark matthew luke and john okay jesus received an injil which is the good news okay when often Christian try to misunderstand our point when we're talking about Injil is the revelation Jesus received okay. not written by Mark Matthew Luke and John Mark okay. Matthew uh, uh, Mark Matthew Luke and John they heard the stories and yeah. then they are not even companion of the Jesus okay. they are not even eyewitnesses right we do not even know who exactly they are okay. so when we are attributing these stories in the Bible we do not say this is exactly what Jesus narrated to them okay. 
So they had, they picked up some of the truth and some of the false also been combined together. And that's why there is an, I showed, I mentioned to you, you know, the differences in the accounts of Mark, Matthew, Luke and John in terms of crucifixion and resurrection, right? If it is so true, then it should have, all of them should have been unique and there should not be any differences of opinion there. So when we're talking about God, what cannot be destroyed means even if a human destroyed it, it's with God. Okay. So we so, should not misunderstand that. Yeah. So I got a last question. Does it make sense though? It makes sense. It yeah, makes sense. It, it makes sense. sense. Okay, fine. So because you're basically saying that like uh, uh, Jesus had his own uh, message that was brought down to him, but not the Mark, John, Luke, Correct. and, and, uh, and Matthew. Yeah. So, okay, so you're basically saying that. Okay, so... Um, one last question. Sure. Is anything impossible for Allah? When we say impossible, we say God does godly things. So, for example, if you say, can God create a stone which he cannot lift? We say, why we should not tell or dictate what God can do or what he can't do. He do based on godly attributes. Say for example, can God go to the toilet? I said no. Why? Because it does not suit him. Because defecating, urinating, these are someone who depend on food. If someone does not eat food, does not drink, he does not need to go to the toilet. So there, exactly. So therefore we say, God, anything that does not befit God, that's not the character of God. I agree, but when you not say that's how common mind, Sorry, say again? You know, say that's our, kind of, that's our mind, like that's our mindset, because like, I don't know if it's in the Quran, but it says that God's thoughts are not the same thoughts as us. Right? Correct. So, meaning that like, we can assume of anything about, about God or Allah or anything like that, and say that like, oh, Allah will never be able to touch that tree because it does not suit him is not his nature right but so my question is is anything impossible for Allah because even if like you're telling me that like he cannot enter the boundaries of a human being because it's impossible for him because that doesn't suit him. That's no his the question is can he enter into the creation he can mm -hmm. but it does not suit him mm -hmm. to come so we are not saying he does not have the ability. Okay. What we are saying is it does not befit his majesty. For example, this is where Islam, we, we talked about Tawheed, oneness of God. Okay. So the oneness of God, the nature of God, how God. So for example, God said, Laisaka mislihi shay. There is nothing comparable to God. And we have four line definition of God. Say Allah is one. Allah is Samad. He is self-sufficient. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. He does not beget nor he is born. Meaning, if you want, he can. But he said, Lam yalid. He, this doesn't apply to him. So, revelation, through our imagination, we know God is perfect and he, he can't be imperfect and perfect at the same time. So, through revelation, he also confirms that. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. Wa lam There is nothing comparable to God. So that negates all the possibility that the, uh, in English we call it anthropomorphism, right? Look, look it up. You okay. know this term, yeah? But, so that could... uh, are you familiar with this anthropomorphism? No, no, no. Okay, look it up. Yeah. That's we comparing human attribute with a God attribute. Okay. Okay. What we are saying is, yeah. if God is unlike human being, okay. then we cannot equivate yeah. with human being action yeah. with God's action. Therefore, we have to look into what God do and what God does and who God is. Then we'll be able to distinguish who God is and what he wants and what is applied. And this is where we have the whole Quran. We have called something called Tawheed, the oneness of God. Explain everything. Okay. Do you believe in the Torah? Yeah. Like, do you believe the Torah is corrupted? The today's Torah? So when we say Torah, yeah. We're talking about the book that revealed by Moses, yeah. right? Yeah. Of course, Moses, 
do you believe? Didn't have, no, no. Moses didn't sign it off and give it to someone. Okay. People heard the story just like Bible, yeah. right? Yeah. The same way we say by New Testament yeah. is have true good and bad in it. Yeah. We also believe there are some truth in the Torah, yeah. but there are also corruption in there. So, so why do you say that? Because Allah mentioned in the Quran. That there's oh, corruption in, in the yes, Torah? Yes, yes. Okay, but he, he need not say that you should, um, if you want knowledge, you should go to the book of the, the Torah and the book of the Injil. Uh -huh. So I think that yeah. we need to understand the context, okay. right? Yeah? Yeah. This is a context when Prophet Muhammad was preaching in Mecca, yeah. preaching in Mecca. Yeah. So he was preaching to the pagan people yeah. Yeah. and they don't have a concept of prophets, mean okay. God can send a human being. Okay. So. So Allah revealed that verse so that go and check it out. That is the concept of God sending human being as a prophet. Is it a new concept? It's not about teaching the books. It's about can God communicate a, a, through a human being to confirm that. It's not about learning the religion. No, God is sending the Quran. This is telling the pagan because it's a strange concept. Imagine if we, if we have a strange concept. I would say go to this person because he's familiar with the concept. Then he will tell you, no, 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 we have heard this concept before. So this is what the question is. It's not about, okay, go and learn from the people of the book. No. Go and tell, they know the Jacob, Isaac, Jesus, Moses, all, God sent prophets and messengers. We do not, none of the three religions deny that. God sent communication. So pagan are completely unaware because they doing idol worship, right? Means statues and stone. So this is where they said, oh, if you are unsure, go and pe uh, people of the book. This is for that context only. Okay. If you read the verses, just prior verses. I'll check, I'll check it out. Man. Thank you very much. But look it up. This is in the Quran. I, I wish you the best. But look, yeah. what you have asked the question, yeah. to me as a sincere brother, I would say, this is to defend the Christianity. Okay. I would say to my brother, as a sincere brother, yeah. look, we are not even here a debate. We are having a nice conversation. Yeah. You are a great human being yeah. and we, we're talking like a human being. Yeah. Yeah. All we need to care about, yeah. who brings the truth? Is it Islam truth, Judaism truth, Christianity truth? Look at all of their claim. Take your biased mind out, if you are sincere. And then, look at the concept of God in Islam. Look at the concept of God in Christianity. Look at the concept of justice in Islam. Look at the concept of justice in Christianity. Look at the concept of morality in Islam. Look at the concept of morality in Christianity. Then, when you look at the totality, all the main point, then you decide for yourself. But I say any search have to be fair. You need to look, compare and contrast. Otherwise, you know, you would not know what is good and bad. How do you know we have the good package if I don't compare? So. Do you mind if I give you a copy of the Quran as a gift? Uh, oh, I have to decline on that one. Okay, no problem. Okay, but thank you very much. Yeah. Oh, I was appreciate that. Thank but you, you, you can, you can yeah. look it up. Yeah. Uh, you can find it online, yeah. Quran, and there are site, website you can find answer. Yeah. But visit the Muslim website. There are a lot of website. They can confuse you. They can yeah. mislead you. Yeah not from the Muslim sources. Okay. There are a lot of Islamophobic sites are there yeah. and they propagate in, incorrect information about our religion. Okay. Okay. And any research must okay. be unbiased. Okay. Now, in, in order to learn Christianity, I should not learn from a Muslim. I should go to Christian school. The same way, in order to learn Islam, yeah. we should go from our sources, not from the Christian sources. Okay. I understand that. Yeah, got it, yeah? Look after yourself. Thank you. You have a lovely day. How are you? Hi. I just get one for you, Lizzie, right? Uh, yeah. So I have from I am getting married.